Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a first impressions video. It is also a no heat on the hair day. So I did blow it dry, but I just am not styling it with heat today. So if you haven't given your hair a break from heat in a while, plan a day to do that. <laughs> it's good for your hair to give it a break now and then. So, oh, excuse me, I have a curious kitty cat here who is about to get himself in trouble. <laughs> okay, so today's the first impression video, and the product we're taking a look at today is the Avon True Color Eyeshadow Duo, and this is the one in Almond Biscotti. Okay, so they come in a box like this. This uh, particular duo is part of the permanent line, and so you will be able to get it. The um, compact looks like this. It has Avon on the top of it, and you just press it to get it open, and it has um, the entire top is a mirror, so I'm not going to blind you with that, and it does have a sponge tip applicator. It's one of those applicators that has the wider end to do kind of all over application and then a pointed end so you can really get in and smudge or do a little bit of a liner look or really get into the crease if you want to. And don't throw these away, you guys. I get so, it's a pet peeve of mine when I see people throwing these away because, um, you know, first of all, these are not the sponge tip applicators, uh, you know, from 1982. You know, this, this material has been specifically designed to work with the product that it comes with. And not only that, but um, there are shadows that, first of all, really do work better with a sponge tip applicator. And nobody ever figures that out because nobody ever tries anymore. Um, so when you're trying a product and you're having trouble with brushes to get it to work or you're having all kinds of crazy fallout or you can't seem to break the top. You know how you have people say, this seems really hard and I can't get any product onto my brush. That's, that's the perfect product for a sponge tip applicator. And not only that, but there are a million things you can do with these, including nail art. So there's my little lecture for the day. <laughs> but, you know, sponge tip applicator comes with this. And then you have two shades here. So you have kind of the lighter, um, lighter shade and a darker shade. These are both matte. So if you are a matte shadow girl, these both are, I really don't see... Um, you know, I, I can't, I can't call either of these leaning towards satin or anything else. And the colors are, um, soft vanilla. This one is called soft vanilla and this one is called black brown. I don't know that I would really describe it as a black, black brown. It's kind of a dark, um, like a dark taupey brown. This is a really good eyebrow color for a lot of people. So maybe if you've been having trouble finding a good eyebrow match, this might be a good one for you to try. Just use an eyeshadow and, you know, a brush and kind of get in there. So this is the, these are the colors we're going to try today. And I think I'm going to start with just, um, I am going to apply them. I think I'm going to start with just, you know, this, this is a Mark um, eyeshadow brush. So this is just kind of a flat um, eyeshadow brush. I could also use something like this because I am probably going to put this lighter color all over the lid. And so something like this would do that very easy, but this is a very soft brush and doesn't always pick up color um, super easily. This one for me a lot of times is better to buff out the edges. But this does work with super, super, super soft shadows for, you know, all over the lid. But I think I'm going to start with this one. And I'm just going to go into that cream. This is just going to be an easy, you know, two color shadow look. So there's no... I mean, we don't need to be too um, worried about tutorial situation here. I'm just going to take this and put it all over the lid. And this color really is pretty much an exact match for my, my skin color. So it really isn't, I mean, I can tell where I'm putting it, but it's, it's not showing up. This is just providing, you know, kind of a base. I think if you build it up a little bit, um, or for somebody who has a skin tone like mine, you, you're going to see more color, but you know, if you just do a very light layer, or just one layer, you probably are not going to have a huge impact. I do have, um, uh, eye primer down already. So I'm just going to build this up a little bit and just see, yeah, you definitely can build it up. Um, it's still, you know, you, you still can see the skin through it, but you definitely can get, um, even more color and more shadow down if you want to, which I think is sometimes good because then you can sort of build up 
um, or not build up color. Duh, of course you can build up color. But sometimes I think when shadows are a little bit thicker, um, they blend together a little better because there's just more, um, I don't know, it's sort of like when sand, you know, if you're on the beach and you have a really fine, hard, thin layer of sand, you can't do much with it. But if you have thick, fluffy sand, you can really get your hands in there and kind of mix it up. Well, the same thing, the brush can kind of really get in there and mix the colors together so you get sort of better dimension, I think, sometimes. So, you know, there are benefits to kind of taking a little bit of time to build it up if you, if you want to. Did you guys hear my stomach just growl? It sounded really mad at me. <laughs> I guess I'm starting to get hungry. I tend to always get hungry when I'm doing videos, don't I? I guess it's just the time of day that I tend to do them all the time. Uh, really late after dinner and I haven't had lunch yet. That's pretty much how it works. Okay, so this brown color, I'm just, you guys know my handy dandy little, uh, you know, flat angled eyeshadow brush. So I'm just going to go into that and I'm just going to be doing kind of um, an outer V sort of through the crease to shadow look because that's kind of a standard go to. So I just kind of tapped into it and yeah, this definitely, they're definitely both matte. Good color payoff with this one. Let's see how they blend. You lose a little of the um, pigmentation when they blend. These don't, these don't blend exactly like pigments do. These blend a little more like, um, like uh, a stain does. We could get into the details of what eyeshadows are made up of, but some eyeshadows are, have pigments in them that are kind of like a pure pigment where it's, basically some kind of solid material that is a certain color ground up really finely. And whatever it is, is that color already. And so it just stays that color and gets ground up. And then there are some that have um, a colorant in it, which is basically like they take some a powdery substance, a ground up substance, and they add a colorant to it. And the colorant is, you know, the color that they're trying to get for the shadow. So once they add the colorant to it, the colorant is kind of like a stain and it basically stains, you know, whatever they're, they're adding the color to, like talc or mica or what have you, depending on what the shadow is made of. And so, um, you know, you, you can often be dealing with one or the other or some type of a combination of both. And so this one acts more um, as if it's using, you know, more of a colorant and less of a kind of a solid ground up pigment. So, and they're both, you know, they're both pigments. They're just, they're just different, <laughs> just made different. So, I mean, I put it on kind of heavy so you guys could really see the color. But you obviously, you can work with it. It's not getting muddy, although how muddy is it going to get with just two colors? Um, so you can kind of work with it and get what you want. And sometimes with colorants, you, you can't always do that very well. Sometimes colorants, because, uh, well, sometimes they can really stain. So if you've ever had an eyeshadow that left, you know, a stain on your eyes that you couldn't get off, um, that's because it was using, m most likely it was using a colorant to stain, you know, the mica or the talc or whatever they're adding it to and it's, it stains your skin, along with uh, changing the color. You know, it's, it's no different really than dyeing your hair, I guess is a good way to put it. You know, they start with a base product that has no color and then they dye it a certain color. So that dye, just like it can stain the base, it can also stain your skin. So this is not doing that, it's, you know, it's blending and mixing with the base shadow nicely, so. All right, and then if you know if you if you want to soften the edges, you can go in with a fluffy brush like this and kind of soften around the top. And of course, you can blend all day long if you want to and mix as much as you want. I don't mind if the edges are a little more harsh. It doesn't it doesn't really bother me. Sometimes I kind of like it hardcore like that. <laughs> okay, so. 
this is what it looks like. Should I zoom in a little bit? I really meant to zoom in before I started doing the eyeshadow, but that's okay. You guys will get the idea, and hopefully it's a cloudy day. I don't know what it is with cloudy days. It's been beautiful, and then the day I have scheduled to film, it's a cloudy day. Whatever. That keeps happening. So hopefully you can see the color, but I know everything probably looks very gray, and I apologize. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So I'm just going to add some eyeliner and some mascara and, you know, kind of finish off the look, and we'll see what you think. Okay, so there you have it, just with a little liner smudged in at the lash line and some mascara. Um, tell me what you think. Do you like these colors? Are these your kind of colors? It's a very easy neutral palette to work with. So if you're a neutral girl or if you're somebody who's in a hurry all the time and you just don't have time to, you know, put that much thought into <laughs> what you're going to put on your face that day or you just want an easy grab and go look, I mean, this is definitely that kind of a look and it's, you know, it's very neutral and, and there's still a lot you can do with it. I mean, I did a kind of an outer V, you know, smoky sort of crease type of look, but you could obviously use that brown powder as like a, um, a shadow and do a more of a winged out look if you wanted to. I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do with two eyeshadows, right? So, <laughs> and obviously I didn't, I, I never wear uh, eyeshadow underneath the eyes, so you can, you can put some under the eye as well. So what do you think? And does anybody have this palette already? What do you think about it? Or are you thinking about getting it now? Um, I do have a link down to to my website down in the information bar below. So if you're interested in picking it up, you can go check it out. Or if you want more information on it, you can go check it out there. Um, but what do you think? Do you like it? Do you have this one? Tell me down in the comments. And I think that's all. Just I, I think is for first impression. Uh, you know, I'm not going to talk about, I mean, a lot of people take you through the whole day and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I don't know. I think for for people who are super worried, I, I'm, a, I'm a wear and go kind of girl, and I don't have any reason to believe that the shadow is not going to kind of last through the day. If it doesn't, I will come back and leave an annotation to tell you, but these shadows, I'm, you know, I'm familiar with these, and so um, they typically do. So if I find anything different than that, I will obviously let you know. Um, but just an easy look. I mean, my first impressions are I like it. They were easy to apply. Um, you know, they give the color that you expect. It's it's not too much for daytime. It's, it's still enough for nighttime. I think you can do anything with these two shadows. And obviously, you can pull out other palettes if you're a, a makeup junkie, which you probably are if you're here watching this video. So you can obviously pull out other sh other palettes that you could mix and match with it to make more complicated looks if you wanted to. So these provide a very good base, and the fact that they are both matte. I mean, I hear all the time people complaining that they can't find enough matte colors that are easy to use or easy to apply or blend nicely, blah, blah, blah. So this is probably a good one for that. So let me know what you think down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye.